Good evening everyone and in this video I would like to discuss the use of Google Docs as a uh, content management system. Um, the beauty of Google Docs is that A it's a cloud, uh, B it's free and C all you need is a Google account in order to access it. So I have a Google account right now that I'm logged into and uh, I'm going to just Google the word DOCS Docs and it's going to take me straight into Google Docs. Um, Google Docs is basically an online version of uh, similar to Microsoft Office 360. Um, you can create all types of documents uh, and share them with the public uh, or keep them private, uh, whichever the case may be. And uh, I would like to show you what I mean by using Google Docs for some form of content management or data management. Um, I'm going to click the create new button and I'm going to create a new form. Uh, I'm going to be using forms in order to produce results um, per my uh, data entry. Uh, for example, I'm going to, let's create a question, let's say uh, full name for example. We'll make that a question uh, and we'll make that a required question and then let's move on to the next thing. Um, let's say a uh, phone number. You can create as many fields as you want, by the way. Um, you can create all types of fields, actually. I'm going to create an additional field over here. Um, let's now make an additional... I'm thinking, what else should we do? Uh, let's add some checkboxes, right? Let's say uh, um, account type, for example. I don't know. Just think of any custom data that you're looking for. Everyone has different things that they're trying to capture. So uh, let's say level 1, level 2, or level 3. So here I have um, three different options. I have uh, a plain text box for full name, a plain text box for phone number, and uh, account type level 1, 2, and 3. So this is very easy just by adding different items. On the very top there is the add item button uh, and you can add pretty much anything from drop down lists, multiple choices, paragraph text, which is, yeah, I'll create that as my last thing. Uh, I'll call that um, notes. So we'll add a notes field into my form here. Um, and this is technically a cloud what I'm doing right now. So I have this form right now and I'm going to save it. And let me exit out of this. Uh, form because now I'm finished with it and now if you look on uh, on my dashboard you're gonna see I have an untitled form and when I click on it it's gonna come up looking like an Excel spreadsheet notice that the fields that I created are now columns um, and now all I really gotta do is just distribute this form to my company to my employees to a client to anybody to fill out you can even use it as a survey uh, and I'll explain to you how exactly this works so I'm going to click on um, you can either embed this form on a web page or go to the live form yourself and mail the link to somebody. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to open it in my browser. And here is the form. Take a look at what it looks like. This is basically a, a web application. Um, and uh, you see down here it says powered by Google Docs. You can actually modify this to change the style of it if you're required to do that. I normally leave it as it is. Um, uh, unless someone really wants a highly customized job with their company's logo on the top, etc. Uh, as a matter of fact, let me give this form a name. You know, I, I really don't want to leave it uh, without a name. Uh, let's call it uh, Sample for YouTube. And now let me go back to my live form. And it looks like I didn't save my form. Just give me one moment. Okay, I just don't want it to say untitled. I'd rather it actually say sample for YouTube. Uh, let me go back to my dashboard and just correct that for you. So you'll see what I mean. Look at the, how fluid this is. It's so easy to navigate and Google has a great server so you never really lag. Um, it's actually very, very, very nice. Uh, but the, the only backdrop to this is if you lose your internet connection, you're pretty much screwed um, because you won't be able to access this. So I have here my sample for YouTube form and let me now go in and create an entry and uh, add it to this form. So let me go here to my live form again and let's reload it. I'll say sample for YouTube 
And let's do full name, let's say John Smith. Phone number is 555 555 555. And this account type will say it's a level 1 and a level 3. And let's add the notes. Uh, please call back on Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And let's click on Submit. Now, what happens is, is that this form just collected my data and it shot it directly into this spreadsheet. So this is basically, you can have uh, up to, I believe, 30,000 entries or so. Um, take a look. This is exactly what my form results look like. So this is a good way of using this form. Here, let's go back to the form, and now I can submit another lead. Let's say I want to submit in Jane Smith, uh, and her phone number will be 666-666-6666. And let's say she's level 2 and 3, and our note is going to be, uh, please call to confirm order. And let's submit this. Let's go back to our form, and did you see it? It just popped in instantly. So this is very, very cool. Um, uh, basically, you can use this form on a multi-level uh, collaboration. You can actually submit it and give this form to, let's say, five people, and all five people can enter this into this spreadsheet and then the next person can go in and follow up or you can use this for personal uh, um, for personal reasons let's say you yourself want to create a form just to capture some data uh, you can use this form so you have here uh, your regular toolbar now in, in uh, Microsoft Office they have the ribbon Google has a simple uh, it looks like a, a very beautifully styled Ajax um, toolbar uh, and you can customize the style, the fonts. I mean, you can drop highlights uh, on this. You can color the boxes. Uh, it, it, it's it's really neat what you can do with this. And notice, when I color something and someone else is looking at this screen at the same form, in real time, they'll be able to see me making these changes. So that's, that's another cool thing to consider. Um, a timestamp gets added to every entry, so you can always track uh, what day and what time the entries were made in. You can have uh, as many fields as you'd like. Uh, and once you're done with this, you can just go to File, you can save it, you can share it with other people, or you can download it as a um, CSV or Excel file, which is very cool. You can actually create a PDF also out of this. Uh, normally what I do is, uh, if you look to my dashboard, you'll see I have actually a lot of um, documents over here. I happen to use Google Docs a lot uh, for many things, and I help other people set it up as well. So you'll see I have a whole lot of forms here. Um, you know everything from resumes to, to typical documents uh, I have a lot of tour um, well this is from my personal company but I have a lot of update projects here where I create forms just like the ones that you saw over here these forms uh, that are highly customizable so you can go to form edit form and I can change right here anything I want I can add an additional field um, and I can actually produce reports by sorting and uh, filtering my results so this is basically a, a quick overview of how you can use uh, Google Docs as a out-of-the-box application for your uh, either business or for your individual use. Um, it's uh, very awesome, and you actually have it right now as we speak if you're using Google. Um, you'll see here on my actual bar my Google Plus account, my Gmail, Calendar, my Documents, which is Google Docs, uh, Photos, Reader, Web, and obviously I have much more stuff here. So. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video and that it's been helpful for you. And if you have any questions, you always feel free to come by my website, DangerStudio.com. Contact me either on LinkedIn or email me at Elon at DangerStudio.com. Thank you for watching.